What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought a Jabra Storm. I actually been using it a little bit, but uh, I, you know, I have had headsets in the past, and you know, to be honest, a lot of the big smartphone makers coming out with their own brands are kind of killing off these small brands. I used to have like a Jawbone Icon, I think that's what it was called, and I don't even think Jawbone makes headsets anymore. Look at this stuff's falling, and. Uh, Jabra still does and they make really great stuff and I've really had um, nice, you know, luck with them in the past and some of the Plantronic stuff. And so I really needed a new one because the one I had was kind of giving me some fits. And so I got this one Jabra Storm for a couple of reasons and I want to just show it to you here. This is what it looks like and I'll tell you why I picked it up and then kind of my thoughts on it now that I've used it a little bit here as well so it does come with a micro usb cable which is what you use to charge it with it does come in this case with a couple of uh, foam booties for the microphone boom portion i think oh just one foam booty so this slides over as you can see here only one end has a hole and so i think you would put that over this and i don't know if they call it it's not a windsock but hmm, it's a really small hole Hard to get it over there. I don't know that I will use this, but I'm almost positive this is where it's supposed to go. But it just kind of helps muffle wind noise, I think. But you can do that. So, there it is. I'm not going to use that. And then it comes with an extra earpiece, a little silicone earpiece. The one that it came installed with is an orange one here. And I thought we'd just take a look at it. I'm not sure if there's any difference in them other than one's orange and one's black. I don't see any other noticeable difference. I thought what they might be different sizes, but they don't appear to be. So the orange one's in there, I'll just keep it in there, it works fine. And two things I really liked about it. First of all, um, I don't mind the in-ear things, uh, you know, if they just go in the ear, but so many of them were just in-ear, you know, gave you this in-ear kind of piece and then had a large boom hanging off of it, right? Uh, to me, like on my old jawbone, it just put too much weight and I don't have like the best ear canals, it just kind of falls out. And so I've always kind of gone to one with the ear loops that sit over your ear and helps support it and keep it in place. Um, they don't make a lot of those anymore still. I don't know, I kind of want to try the Apple ear pods because, or the, whatever they call them, the Bluetooth ear pods, because they kind of sit in the ear and don't look like they, they might fall out. And actually, the kind of the long, stupid looking thing that hangs down actually might brace it against your cheek and kind of keep it from flopping out. But anyway, they're really expensive. This one was cheaper, it's under 30 bucks. And what I liked about it is it has the inner ear piece here, um, and then it has this the, the large housing and battery, presumably, and all the electronics kind of go over your ear and around it, so you have, uh, you know, extra support, right, that you don't on a lot of other ones. Black construction here, you have this silver uh, ridge that goes all the way down, and here are some things I learned. So this uh, silicone piece is kind of reversible, and I couldn't figure out if, I couldn't get it really to twist, but as you can see, you can see the speaker right there, but you can put it on this way or this way, and that's because this earpiece will work on either side you know, left ear or right ear, right? Let me see if I can just get this back on. If I can't hear quickly, we'll just skip it. Okay, so see how easy it goes on there? Once it's on there, it's got really good traction. It's hard to twist. I bet you could turn it all the way around, but you wouldn't want to do that. So this piece right here, you can see the little sleeve there will uh, pivot or turn in two directions. So now I could use it on my left ear. If I do it this way, I could use it on my right ear. So it's really up to you. I like it on my right ear. Uh, it doesn't turn any further than that, so you can only t turn it, you know, around, but moving it to the forward position. Then this does fit around the ear pretty nicely. It's nice and slim. Right here behind the Jabra logo, you have this little door here, which is uh, the micro USB port. I can get it open. There we go, micro USB port there. You have volume up and down, which is... Um, advance and revert rewind and then you also have the power button right here i like that it's a physical power button and then as you can see i've already charged it up and it's on my phone uh, almost certainly now i want to say that when you start when you turn it on usually when it doesn't find anything to connect to it's in pairing mode in this case this was not so what you have to do is you just turn it on and the little blue bluetooth light will just keep blinking slow saying it's not paired and I thought I was kept waiting and looking for it. So what you actually have to do is there's a button right here 
where that little uh, phone handset is. And you can see here, it's like a little button right on the end. You can hardly see, but it's clicking. Can you hear that? It's clicking. That's a button for answering and hanging up, right? But it's also how you get into pairing mode. So when you turn it on and it's not finding anything, you hold down this for three seconds and then you can listen to the prompts and it'll say pairing mode. And then like on your device, search for Jabra or whatever it is, you know. Um, so, and then when you pair it, it says paired. So what I didn't realize is that's where the hang up button is. It's kind of interesting because let's say this is in your ear, you kind of squeeze it up and down to hit the button. Normally I'm so used to a button being on the side and you kind of press into your head or something like that, but you actually squeeze up and down. And at first when I was kind of trying to grab it, I was kind of pressing it against my cheek like this. Obviously that's not gonna work. You gotta, you gotta squeeze the tip. So there it is. There's the look at the Jabra Storm. I, I will tell you that call quality is great. I can listen to audio books. Uh, you know, it's definitely, since it's only one ear, you know, you're, you're not going to want it for really high fidelity things, but it's, it is pretty comfortable. It's nice and rounded. And so it's something I can continue to wear on my ear, whether I'm on conference calls or, you know, telephone calls that might last 30 minutes or an hour. I haven't had a problem with power and I haven't had a problem where it gets like painful and uncomfortable or kind of is, you know, just, it doesn't, doesn't feel good in general. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Mompand out.